in this video we're gonna discuss that uh, how to implement the payroll in Delhi RP9 as per the UAE law so we have different steps we have five different steps to perform the payroll to, to record the payroll in Delhi RP9 so these are the five different steps the master data which we need to create the first step that is create employee master here we need to create two different master record that is employee groups and employee master and then the second step is that we need to create payroll master and in the payroll master we have the payroll units and we need to create attendance production type then the third step that is pay heads that we need to create different pay heads that is like earnings related with the deductions employee statutory deductions and employees uh, that employer statutory contributions are there and then the fourth step that is create salary details here we need to create a group pay structure or individual pay structure and the last step is the payroll process where you need to record the payroll entry we have the attendance process is there the payroll process is there and payroll reports that how we can check the reports so the first step is that we need to create employee masters and in employee masters we need to create employee groups employee departments and employee masters so first we have like in employee master if you're creating employees master data it will divide into further three categories the first one if you are creating employee master the first category is employee category here you need to create an employee category which is used to track the salaries paid to the employees working in specific project or location such as head office and regional office for example we have a company and uh, we have different departments and uh, let's suppose we have an office or a branch in Dubai so obviously we need to pay salaries to the, our Dubai office the employees working in the Dubai office similarly if you have uh, like branch in Abu Dhabi so you need to pay uh, salaries to Abu Dhabi branch so here in the employee category we need to create the location or the project or the or the head office then we have employee groups employee groups are your department like marketing research and development is there sales production accounts these are the departments and then in the third step we need to create employees so our first step right now we need to create employee category in Delhi RP9 we're gonna create two employee category one we can create uh, Dubai head office like we have uh, head office is in Dubai so we need to pay the salary to our staff we have in our Dubai office and then we have another branch of our sales department in Abu Dhabi so we need to pay the salaries for our Abu Dhabi staff so we're gonna create two employee categories that we have Dubai head office and Dubai uh, Abu Dhabi sales office or Abu Dhabi office so that is our employee category so how to create that in Delhi RP9 for that you need to go in the payroll info enter and in the payroll info we have this employee category press enter and I want to create you can create a single category and you can create multiple categories uh, it depends on you uh, I'm going to create with a single category that it to create enter so we have Dubai office or you can mention Dubai head office or anything it's on you Dubai office enter enter uh, you want to allocate revenue items yes I want to do that allocate non revenue items no I don't want to do that right now press enter enter save it similarly we have our Abu Dhabi office so you can mention here that is salary for our Abu Dhabi office so that's uh, these are your employee categories 
enter enter allow revenue items yes i want to allow the revenue items enter allocate non revenue items no i want to uh, i don't want to allocate right now the non revenue items enter enter save it so this is the first step to create the employee master data that we need to create employee categories and after that creating that employee categories the next step is that we need to create employee groups that we have a sales department marketing department or HR department or production department right so we need to create employee groups so that is the second step so how to create the employee groups again you need to go in the master we have payroll info enter in payroll info the second option is what employee groups enter and create so that is uh, like this is our Dubai office and in our Dubai office because that is our head office for example and uh, we have accounts department there so that is the Dubai office and under the Dubai office we have our accounts department And that comes that is a primary enter and define salary details uh, I'm gonna enter this salary details in the next videos or in the next step right now uh, not applicable enter enter similarly in our Dubai office we have uh, the HR department also enter enter and that is also a primary enter uh, define salary details we're gonna enter the salary details later enter and save it and then uh, in our like Abu Dhabi office we have the marketing team so we have the marketing department there enter enter and that is primary enter and save it so this is how we create employee groups in tally erp9 so in the first step what we did we create the employee categories employee categories these are your uh, the uh, the location of your departments or your uh, regional offices or the branches you need to create in the employee categories and in the second step we have employee groups so in the employee groups you need to create the departments and the third step is that we need to create individual employee information so i'm going to create uh, an employee in our dubai office in under the accounts department so we go under the employees enter we need to create so that is the category so this is our uh, dubai office enter you can mention the name let's suppose it is ali enter enter that is display name in report as the employee name Ali enter and it is under the accounts department enter that is the date of the joining when he joins the company enter and define salary details we're gonna enter the salary details in the next step right now not applicable enter uh, if you want to add additional notes related to this employee you can add additional notes or uh, additional information about this employee enter and that is the journal information that is the employee number designation like it is an accountant enter what is the function the role accountant location that is in Dubai enter gender male female right you can mention the date of birth you can mention the uh, the blurred group also and you can uh, mention the father's name that is his spouse name then we have the address this is the phone number you can mention the phone number you can mention the employee email id and if you want to enter the bank detail of that employee you can also mention that you can press yes to enter the employee details enter and that is a labor card number 
uh, it was applicable before but right now I guess uh, that we don't have the labor card information we have only the Emirates ID so whatever the Emirates ID is you can mention that and that is the Emirates ID expiry date then enter and that is the passport and visa detail information what is the passport number enter that uh, country of issue uh, whatever the country your passport information passport expiry date this is a visa number and visa expiry date and then we have the contract detail enter that is a work permit number enter that is a contract starting date and that is a contract expiry date so this is how you will create employees in tele ERP 9 as per the UAE law enter enter and save it